Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform the upper limb tension test and bias it towards the median nerve. The median nerve will come from the brachial plexus between the levels of C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1 and typically the symptoms will be more in the hand towards the thumb, index, middle and half a ring finger and that would maybe mimic a carpal tunnel. Now when we do the upper limb tension test we can do it in stages and if the symptoms is exacerbated by the patient then naturally we will stop the tests. If I perform all the maneuvers within and she feels nothing, then maybe the median nerve is not involved in the patient's symptoms. Now, what we can do first of all is I'm going to apply the hand on top of the shoulder and apply shoulder girdle depression. From there, the elbow is flexed and I'm going to abduct, I can use my leg for this, to 90 degrees and I'm just going to put the leg under the arm just to stabilize it and I'm going to slowly externally rotate like this whilst maintaining shoulder girdle depression. From here I'm going to put my fingers over onto a wrist here and I can do this in stages here so from there I'm going to slowly start to extend the wrist and then slowly extend the fingers and then from there I'm going to slowly take the arm out into extension, maintaining supination of the forearm, like that, okay, you okay, and if I'm able to slowly extend the arm, that's good. Now the last thing I would ask the patient to do is be careful, is just to slowly side bend your neck to the left, and if the symptoms increased, then you know it will be the median nerve that's involved, and if that's the case, maybe side bend towards the other side, and then if that reduces the symptoms, again, it will be a positive sign, knowing that side bending to the left increases the symptoms. So I'm going to ease her off this position. So this will be the upper limb tension test for the median nerve. 